All right, guys, so let's move on to probably the most powerful organizational tool in Lightroom, which is keywording. Now, what is exactly the difference between keywording versus collections? I mean, they both can do very similar things. Well, collections basically, uh, as we mentioned, are going to be a part of the catalog itself. They're not a part of the photos, so when you export the photos, collection information does not go along with it. When you transfer the catalog, it will go along with it. However, keywording is actually going to be a part of the file metadata, meaning when I export any image that has a keyword on it, it's going to take that keyword in the form of a tag, and it's going to be attached to that image. So any third-party application, even inside of Windows Explorer, we can be able to see and organize based on these keywords. So let me show you guys a quick example of how this works. So I'm going to expand this first stack, and I'm going to select this first image, and we're going to go to the keywording panel right on the right side. If it's collapsed, just expand it. And right here, I'm going to type in Lens Configuration. And I'd previously typed it in before, which is why it comes up in the autocomplete. I'm going to hit Enter. And now I'm going to export this image just to the actual catalog folder that we're working in, which is right on my desktop. And I don't really care what the settings are. So long as Minimize Embedded Data metadata is not selected, I'm fine. Um, everything else is fine. I'm just going to hit Export. All right, that's done. We're going to go to my desktop. I'm going to open it up, and there is SR Lounge Tutorial. This is the, the image that we just exported. And we can see right here in the tags that lens configuration is attached along with it. Now, if you don't see the tags option right here, it's probably because you haven't selected it in the details. So all you do is you right click, and you can select different items to display. And you can also hit more if you want to see more information. And you can basically choose from uh, virtually all the metadata that is inside of these photos as well as other file type information that you want to see. So if, you're, if what you're seeing is this, you're just going to right click and you're going to hit tags and it'll automatically show you tags. Now I can use this information inside of Windows Explorer or inside of any third party application to continue to be able to manage and organize my my images, which makes it a very, very powerful tool. Also, uh, you know, when you go on and you're uploading to Flickr and, and to other places that are allowing you to upload images, these tags will also travel along there as well. So keywording is a great and powerful tool we use a lot in the studio. So let's move on to basically creating keywords and getting into doing some uh, examples and working through them so you guys can really learn them in detail.